Good afternoon, Blue Beamers. My name is Troy DeGroat with U Chapter 2, and I'm excited to partner with the team at Brighton Graphics to deliver world class Blue Beam training and customization services, empowering you to get the most out of your Blue Beam investment. And let's take those and start looking at some examples on actual takeoff tools that I've built as examples in our estimating basics. And then we'll start to look at some more advanced things as well today and introduce you to some of those. So to start out, um, you're going to see that I've measured quite a few of these rooms. I put wood flooring here, carpet type one in these rooms, uh, carpet type four, one, and so on. I've gone through all of these. This one seems to have moved. We'll click that back in here. I'll nudge it with my arrow on my keyboard. There we go. I also have some blue dash lines that represent some Cat6 cable. I've counted several doors. I've counted toilets and sinks in here. And then up here, I did a little... Um, landscaping figure feature. I'll show you that once we get there. But let's take a look at the quantities that are all adding up. All I did with these is use the proper tools and color in where those materials are going to be laying. And if we look at our markups list here, you can see that it categorizes all of those and sorts them for me. So here's all the instances of carpet type number one. It gives me the square meters of each one and my total square meters for that carpet type. Same thing with carpet two, carpet three, carpet four. Then we get into this cat six cable. This is our total length of that material in here for each one of those runs. And then it adds up to the total length uh, for the project. Keep scrolling down. I've got 19 doors. And then I've got my um, landscaping feature. I've got paper patio, stones, uh, retaining walls, crushed rock, some shingles. Uh, I've got a roof on top of that. And then you're going to see those sinks and toilets I have within the building. A slab on grade up in that landscaping figure feature and then the wood flooring throughout the inside of that building. So all of those quantities are adding up for me in my markups list. Okay, so let's take a look at how I did those. I've got over here in my tool chest, several tools that I've built uh, over the course of our estimating basics course, teaching that uh, we actually show you how to build out your tool chest with materials that you're measuring every day. So um, some other ones we might be using are this um, six inch wood wall. And so I have it labeled exterior, but we're going to ignore that for a second. And I can come in here and basically trace all of my interior walls. And it'll highlight for me, indicating that I've taken that off. And so on. And I keep running through that process through all my walls. And you can see that those totals are popping up over here for my linear footage of wall. And then there's some things that we teach in the estimating advanced where we'll actually create an assembly for the wall where that simple markup will not only give us um, the linear footage of you know, how many boards we need for treated base, a double top plate, um, studs at different spacings, uh, the insulation, the anchor bolts, the sheathing, the jip board, all of that can be figured out on one markup if we want to. 
and then here I can right click convert that to an arc get a little bit better there so that's how um, those tools are laid out over here to show you how I built out this uh, landscaping feature I'll just do some of the same tools and run through it again so I'm gonna go ahead and do a rock island select that and let's just draw some sort of shape double click when I'm done and that gives me all my rock but then some of that is going to be paper and concrete so I'm going to go into my measurement panel underneath the area tool I'm going to do a polygon cutout and basically follow this shape so that I have I don't know a even spacing of uh, rock all the way around my slab I'm going to cut that out then I'm going to go grab my tool for my concrete slab over here my slab on grade click inside of there and it will place that in my markup or inside of that uh, cutout okay so I'm going to delete that because I need to move this text first put that up here and grab my slab drop it in here I'll move that text as well where I know it'll be clean and then let's go ahead and add, I'm going to cut out another area where the pavers are going to be. So I have a concrete edging around the whole paver. Do another cutout. Just kind of make it look the same. And then grab my paver. drop that in there and then on this one I put a retaining wall so let's grab our retaining wall and maybe we want a retaining wall on three two sides just draw that in there what's nice about these tools is the customer can start to visualize what that's going to look like and meanwhile all of our quantities are being added up down here if the customer wants to add another section of retaining wall or make this smaller we just adjust what it looks like for them and it's adjusting our quantities as well so that's how i laid out this whole paver area and then i put a roof over top of it so let's go ahead and I'm just going to drop over top of this area overhanging the rock and the concrete and you can see this one is labeled with the um, shingles it's marked with an 812 pitch I built that into the tool and it's giving us all those quantities down here so lots of cool stuff that you can do with custom markups. If you're measuring the same materials over and over again, uh, you'll, you'll save a ton of time building out your custom tools and uh, you know not having to worry about labeling them or taking down notes on a notepad next to you on your quantities and adding them up separately. Uh, all we need to do is really color in the lines and trace around the walls and and all of our quantities pop up down here okay uh, if you have any questions regarding training or customization services for your company don't hesitate to reach out to the team at brighter graphics or myself and we'd be happy to help you out with that